Spring has sprung, and the less time you spend in the kitchen, the better. That's why some of HelloFresh's delicious restaurant quality meals come together in just 20 minutes. Get 16 free meals plus three free gifts with code UNFILTERED16 at HelloFresh.com slash UNFILTERED16. Ew. Okay, drum roll, please. Welcome back to the 420 episode, baby. I can't believe it's been a year already. I know. It has been. The first time we did it yep. was a year ago. Uh-huh. It feels like we, are, we're going to have all your shit right oh, now. Oh, I don't know whose camera this is. Um, <laughs> I've been asking, Come and I do on, have a water clean, bottle. Clean up your workspace, baby. <sighs> okay. Come yeah. on. We're not high yet. We're, yeah, we're, we're, we're sober right now. We want to do a little sober intro before you know we, right. we get cooking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get to bacon. Jesus. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. We did a high episode exactly a year ago. It yep. feels like yesterday that we just filmed that episode and we had that furniture it's a completely different environment this time this is going to be really interesting if this is your second high episode with us thanks for uh sticking with us but you missed out on all the ones on the patreon that we have oh yeah we've been we've been having a a lot of practice on the patreon we've done right now like what like eight high episodes so far Probably, yes. <laughs> and every single one has been completely different. Like yeah. the high has been. The highs uh, have been different and the topics have been all over the place. Yeah. Absolutely. Really interesting. Um, but yeah. even better, we have the Britney Broski high episode yes. out right now. I don't know if it's out right now because if this comes out it's the 19th, out. it's going to be out the April 20th, correct? No, it's going to be out a couple days earlier er- on Patreon. Oh, a couple days. You got it, baby. A couple days earlier. So right now, if you're listening to this, it's up right now on Patreon, patreon.com slash Zane and Heath. Just for $5, you can catch all the older episodes, all the other high episodes, the other vlogs, and Brittany Brosky's high And episode. you get early access to every single podcast, so you can hear it a couple days early, and it's all going to be ad-free as well. And you get access to our Discord. Exactly. What a treat. Yeah. What a treat. So make sure I mean, check I don't get why anybody wouldn't want to pay for that. It's yeah. only five bucks. Exactly. Oh, one more thing. Heath and I just posted a vlog yes. last week, so we're also going to be posting those early access so you guys can catch that early before the whole world does. That's right. Um, and we're going to start vlogging on Unfiltered Channel. Ooh! So, uh, we're very excited. We've been vlogging a ton so far, and yeah, I'm excited to get get back into the shit with you, baby. Let's get it's it! It's coffee towel, baby. It's coffee towel, baby. Are you ready to start this off? Oh. Um, you ready? Uh, I, it, there's like a storm of brewing oh, outside. <laughs> yeah. It's there are some demons afoot. It, it's really windy, so we're all gonna have to really work together <laughs> to get that shit lit up. You I, know I, I hope to keep Build it a, lit. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh! Uh, technical difficulties. The start. Wait, was that a sign? That was a sign. We about to get fucking <laughs> slim, baby. Okay. Oh my god. Woo. It's, it's coming, baby. baby. I'm so scared. <laughs> Perfect. How are we dancing? Ow! You know what? Let me get a happy hour. Can I have a happy hour? I want to. I kind of want to get crossfaded. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Dun 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 dun. Ow! Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered, baby. I'm Zane. I'm Heath. I'm Matt. And we are high. It's crazy how fast it works. I know. I feel like when I was younger and I would smoke for the first time. It would take like thirty minutes to kick in because and you'd, ha- be because you'd have be to like- you'd have to over smoke because remember it wouldn't hit and you're like I need more I need more and then it would all hit you at once why like this right now like, I don't it's th- working in a I, minute I and a half put it out and then I was like instant there what was what? the flavor what did we smoke sherbet sherbet ice sherbet ice yeah which is what we did like the first time. I think so. I can't. Oh, wow. man. Well, yeah, guys, welcome back. We Now we are high. We just got <laughs> back from smoking lit weed. <laughs> just imagine that there was just like freaking daytime show. Like, welcome back. Good morning. Today we are high. <laughs> on <laughs> the news, like on TV. Imagine seeing that shit like live. Like, good morning, America. I, we are stoned. Do you think it'll ever get to be like that accepted? Like, well, that's like what you're talking like newscasters saying when they're high. <laughs> <laughs> or just like. I, I guess, ca- well, just like casually. back in the day, that like talk shows, they would be smoking cigarettes, like as they're doing an interview. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's not, you're not like on drugs. No, I'm saying like, like, do you think it'll get like accepted? Well, what's interesting, I heard about music, even, fe- music festivals now, instead of like, you know, oh, you got to like sneak in the weed and stuff. They'll have like a weed garden where you can go and buy weed at the festival. Well, that may, I mean, that that's you're cool. talking like LA or you're talking about I any know, festival? I've heard that's like now becoming really popular. I just like. I, I mean, like, it's it's legal in pretty much like what, 46 states? Like how many, how many states? <laughs> is the weed legal? I, like, I, I feel like no half. Idea. Half? Maybe. <laughs> 
Did you ever? Except for to, Colorado, I know there's one state that's like Colorado. You're going to you're going to prison for life legal. if you get caught with that. How state. did you? How did you like sneak weed around when you were uh, younger? I didn't you? Didn't you just no. like got had it in the, your pocket? No, I would only smoke if I went to like somebody's house and I knew I was either sleeping over or it was going to be like. 10 hours before I had to go home. Okay. I would I would hide it in folded shirts in my drawer. That's the only way. Because yeah, that would make your shirt stink like weed. Yeah. Well, it was in a Ziploc baggie. My, 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 my mom does my laundry, so I wouldn't have been able to do that. <laughs> my so oh, she'd sorry. be putting stuff away. Yeah, no, I, I, I hid it pretty well until that one day. I, we talked about it on my mom's episode. Mm -hmm. She found she found the, she found the pills and found the weed. Not good. Tough Not combo. Good. My brother had a signed Jason Kidd shoe in his room. <laughs> we would like hide it in the Jason Kidd shoe. Because nobody- Hold it was on, what's like, Jason Kidd? He, Jason Kidd was a big basketball player and I was like a coach. You uh -huh. know Jason Kidd? Yeah. My brother had like a signed basketball shoe of his and it would like sit up with all of his trophies, but we would just put all the weed inside the Jason Kidd shoe. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed yet, my hair is bleach blonde for the people listening. It looks uh, good. It looks good. I really, I like how it like accentuates my dark features on my face. Yeah. Because it, when it, I it, have it, brown it, hair, I just, uh, just look dull. I look boring. I think like clothes match better when you have like bleached hair or yeah. something like your brain, like the way you like look at yourself when you're something on you're like i like this look because it's new i guess but like the blonde does like help with yeah styling some stuff yeah i um so i decided to get it <laughs> I, I, I want did, blonde hair now i decided to get it bleached blonde like monday and i surprised heath with it yeah I, it was really shocking when i first saw it but now like day two i'm like yeah because i was just going to show you my blonde hair but i was but i was like i've already had blonde hair already so I'm, I, I wanted to do something a little crazier so for the people listening I had a Reggie spike my all my hairs up. There was like, like fifteen spikes out the top of like his the. Head. It looked like I, I looked like Green Day. It, yeah, I looked <laughs> insane, like straight out of a fucking nineteen ninety five two thousands movie. It's crazy and, how like genuine it looked, though. It didn't seem like you were doing like a Halloween costume, and you like. But did it, it did up. have like it was a little villain esque. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, it was kind of like, scary. Yeah, yeah, he he's straight up. Scared he, me. I scared the shit out of uh, out of Matt. When when you first saw it, dude. Yeah. When he came in, I was just like on my bed on my phone. He just walks right up to me with the camera, and I look up. I thought you were like an intruder. You probably thought I was holding a gun too, because yes. I don't I don't hold cameras anymore. You never see right. me walk. <laughs> and his hair, yes, spiked to a T. Like it looks. And he, I had the gr I had everything on my glasses and everything. Oh, so he, he had no. It took you like a good seven seconds to see that it was me. It, it was, at first, it was just like, oh, like who is this? And then like. You, then you, did a double a, scream. It was a double scream. Oh, you actually screamed. Oh, yeah. Frightened. <laughs> <laughs> you, I, it, 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 your hair looks so sturdy. It looked like you could like set a plate on it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, it was up <laughs> and at it. I, could, I, can't, I couldn't believe how long my hair actually is. It, it, it yeah, was like sick. Six, like, like six inch spikes. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I, I, we were worried that the, the shit wasn't even going to get past like an inch. Because when you hold my hair up, it doesn't go, it, like you can't hold it up high. That shit. Was that just straight up gel or like gel and hairspray? It was hairspray. It was mostly hairspray. Oh wow. Yeah, he gelled my hair a little bit, but it was mainly hairspray. He would he like held my hair up and would just spray it. Damn. And then keep like smushing it up. We talked about this early on mine, but like, are you going to do that for Coachella? I, I like, want <laughs> like I feel like I'm gonna do it for like the first day and just 30 minutes into the festival, I'm just gonna hate it. Yeah. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be fucking livid that I ever decided to put People that People are gonna be head. taking pictures. You're like, I don't, I'll take the picture. Like, <laughs> you're not gonna be wanting to get at anything. Cause you're just like, no, just don't, he stopped filming me. Cause like, I really don't like when my hair is up, you know? And that one, you really just see my whole head. Yeah. And I'm it, really insecure. Did you, fucking... did you like really inspect his scalp? Uh, well, when I had to remove, <laughs> I had to oh, remove you, you got the little undone. ties. Well, like, he knocks at my door and I'm like, what? Like I'm going to bed. And he's just like, I need your help. <laughs> and I, and Brad, I, you put that like the really small, like dental, like, it was like yeah, dental yeah, little uh, plastic. bands, like braces. And he, dude, he, he wrapped it. Like, you know, when you do like the loop, he did it like six times on each hair. So I couldn't pull it off. Oh, and I was shit. freaking out because I was, as I was pulling it, because I just, bleached my hair and it was like freshly bleached. As I was pulling it, I hear 
and I thought I was ripping mm. my hairs out because I, my scalp is pretty much dead. And at I this thought point. I was too when I was taking him out. I was like, <laughs> "This is this is the yeah. end." <laughs> that was over. I was gonna have a checkered like bald yeah. spot <laughs> all over because of Matt just trying to rip it out. That but, would look sick because they were they were in like a checkered like imagine if you had a uh, a black and a blonde one and they were alternating black black like, you, you like mean different colors. Hair. You're talking about different. Yeah, your spikes. Oh, it was separating. But that was like so. I mean, that would look cool for that would look cool for that look. But if I let it down, I'm gonna look like a fucking skunk. (laughs) (laughs) I would look really bad. But yeah, (laughs) it's like you did that. You didn't think of that at all. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, I decided to do it for Coachella, and I was feeling, you know, I want, I was feeling like I wanted to be like. I think the right word is loud. I just wanted something to just yeah something make turn, me something excited. Yeah, turn some heads exactly. Because yeah. when I had pink hair, I felt invincible. Like I felt like I was on top of the world for some reason. I don't know why. Just knowing that, like I looked yeah. crazy, it it's made a, me feel. I feel better. like there's a confidence that comes from being. <laughs> it's like you're I a guess, video game and you got the new mod. Like, <laughs> like I could change my character's hair color, and then you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It does. Like saying? some sort of confidence that comes from doing something that makes you not look worse, but something so outrageous that you're like, say whatever you want. That's what it's kind of like. That's yeah. what makes sense with people who do those like crazy transformations with their face and stuff. Oh, like the me- like the pipes in their like. The I, don't, I don't. Body yeah. Lizard I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. Catman, it, that- how <laughs> do they sleep? That would fucking hurt. Imagine like just bumping just into got, this. Yeah. <laughs> or or standing next to a fridge, you're just like a bunk. Like there's no way you'd be like that shit doesn't so get in your way. Every day. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Credit Karma. Want a new credit card, but not sure how to choose? You don't need to apply for the first offer you see in the mail. Credit Karma can help you zero in the right option for you and apply with more confidence. Credit Karma uses your credit profile to show you offers that are tailored to your financial situation. Credit Karma partners with a wide range of card issuers, so you can be sure you are exploring all sorts of options. And best of all, Credit Karma uses your credit card data to show you your chances of approval before you even apply, helping you apply with even more confidence. Comparing cards on Credit Karma is 100% free and won't affect your credit scores. So if you're ready to find the card for you, head to Credit Karma and check out your personalized mix of offers today. Go to CreditKarma.com or the Credit Karma app to find the card for you. That's CreditKarma.com. Credit Karma. Create your own karma. Speaking of face modifications, I got a face modification. What did you I do? Fi- I finally did it. Wait, did can you, we spot it? What'd you get? I don't know. You, probably not. I notice it. It's not It's not much. Did you treat like the under your eyes? Yeah. Yeah. I got my, oh, oh, I got um, my eye bags did. Oh, what? wow. Because they do look so slim. Like I don't, right? It's just like, it's, there's no puff. So Mariah was getting her lips done and I went with just to be a supportive boyfriend. And I was also really curious. I just wanted to see it. And... Uh, when she was getting it done, I asked the lady, I was like, do you guys do the under eye thing to make it smoother? And she was like, yeah. I was like, is it, does it like hurt? And she was like, no, not really. You want to do it right now? And I was like, I could do it right now. And she was like, yeah, let's just take a before picture. She's just opened up her drawer, already has another <laughs> syringe ready to go. So I took the before picture, signed like a couple papers, and then I was sitting down. She's like, all right, you ready? And I was like, oh my God, this is happening so fast. Um, and do you feel like you're about to perform, like when I, like, me getting hair transplant surgery. You felt like you were getting something so drastic and like scary. I, I think I just didn't know what to expect. Did you look so, at before and after photos of like I, something she had done and being like, yes, yeah, this yeah. is no problem. Oh, okay. Did so you see guys too on it? Uh, not in the examples that I saw. <laughs> Are you going to end Uh-oh. up in that book? Like someone's going to be scrolling. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on the botched page. <laughs> well, why, is there, why is there not a men's, uh, <laughs> men's section in their office? That's pretty scary. But I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I was like, let's just try it. Um, she said, if you don't like the way it is, they put something in and it dissolves it immediately. So I was like, oh what? shit. What? Sick. Wait. So it's like filler. It's not like a Botox. Botox like makes your muscles stiff. Okay. It's like a liquid, like they would do for your lip. They just like fill it up. How many points? Like how many? Uh, so it was a full syringe, half on each side. In the, uh, how in many? The same place no. or she does it in all different so like, dots? There was no like numbing stuff. She literally put this like ice block on my eye and then she took the needle and she's like, all right, you're going to hear a weird sound. Don't freak out. It's normal. And I was like, what the fuck is this? So she goes to put it in and you hear a crunch as soon as it goes in. And then as they squirt it in, it's like, like you hear it. And it was probably one, two, maybe like four different um, stabs. Yeah, like and then they just like fill it up. 
Uh, but I was, I went into it and I was like, I have baggy eyes and I don't like my dark circles. Like they're really puffy. And she's looking at you going, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you, I, you don't have to tell. <laughs> uh, but she said, she was like, you don't have puffy baggy eyes. You have hollow sockets. So that's why it looks so dark oh. and it looks so prominent is because my eyes are sunk in. So instead of, I, I feel like, I, I feel like we already knew that we just kept calling it eye oh, bags. Okay. No, no. I'm saying, oh. I feel like you, you always knew it was sunken. It, it was it, just you always just call dark. it eye bag, so you think of a bag. I thought it just looked tired and like puffy, but you look yeah, really. It. it looks. I can really notice the difference. Yeah. you look like really hydrated. Yeah, that's, yeah, I just feel like I look awake. Normally, I would always look kind of like tired. Yeah. yeah. Um. So they put it in and they pulled out this skin, so it just matched flush with my bones, so it doesn't. How much was in. it? Uh, I think it was five hundred bucks. Okay. How long does it last? A year. Oh wow, that's a great price for a whole year is it right uh, <laughs> oh wait is it 500 bucks for confidence baby yeah look alive. so how many more sessions do you have left? that's it that's it it's done for oh, a year it's done yeah oh really what because you can use a little more <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up a little more um no yeah. but it looks a lot better though thank you yeah are you touching it a lot you can't feel it okay like at all so if like the fact that it's crunching when it goes in, it, it must mean that it's a solid first. And then when it gets into your skin, it just or is it, like, well, how does is it there work? A cartilage there though? Or I think it's just kind of like, it was empty. I think it's just like, do, like do you, skin. do you feel like you don't like, no feel like something like puff, like Cause, anything. Cause with lips, you can feel like inside, you feel kind of like, Oh yeah. You, oh, you can feel when a girl has, I think, <laughs> I think yeah. since they were so yeah. sunk in, it just like filled up behind my bone. It's, okay. Like I can't feel it anywhere on the front here. It's all like deep up in here. Oh, I mean, I n- I've never really thought about like what's underneath. Well, I guess it's your eyeball, but like just how big that little cavity is down. Yeah, there. yeah. And, you're, and when uh, when you went when we went tanning today, that's like fine. It's like yeah. it's safe to, to tan, tan on it. <laughs> Y'all went tanning today. <laughs> We're getting ready for Coachella. You, okay, don't see how, you don't year, see how fucking dark we look. One right year, now? Zane hit the tanning bed a little too hard <laughs> and a little too early. Bro, I, did, dude, I decided to do three sessions Jeez. in one day. In one. <laughs> Absolutely I not. Thought, so I, I was telling the lady because it was like my my one of my first like I, yeah it was pretty much my first time there and I was just like hey look Coachella's tomorrow I know I'm like it's I know this is last minute but like I I really want to like look tan I'm really pale right now there's pimples all over me I just want to zap all the shit. <laughs> Look tone, look uh-huh. good, like you know, GTL baby, Jersey Shore. I want to look like Paul. You're saying G. all of this in the front of <laughs> the bare <laughs> waiting yeah. room, and she's yeah. just like, "Sir, there are three people behind you. Can we, what and, bed and what time?" And I was like, "I, I just really, I want to get like dark before Coachella." And she goes, she goes, "Okay, well, we can, we can book you the sessions." I don't think she was supposed to do that. I don't think they're allowed to tell you you need to do three sessions in one day. That sounds like a lot, right? That's a lot of your, that's a lot for your skin to go through. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's recommended. Dude, tanning yeah. is so strange when you think about it. It's these little like ovens, and we just like pink up or like we <laughs> we we, we, we it's cook. like easy bake oven. You just kind of yes. like sit under it for it's a bit. It's just it's crazy how someone like do you ever do you ever like you've you, you've done it oh, before? Many do times. you ever feel like that shit's gonna just blow up? Like like a fa- final destination like yeah. five is, or four yeah, fucking, is when dude, the, I always think about that and I just like I get scared that I'm gonna just be locked in there and burn alive. Are you yeah. doing well, the one we did had an open back, so it wasn't like yeah that, that made me feel why, good. Why do you think there's an open back now? But do you think they started making the, that shit Probably after claustrophobic? I would feel super oh, uncomfortable if I was yeah. laying down in this thing in the bed. Up. Yeah. Well, wait. You guys are talking about comparing we, the standing up. Yeah, we. But well, the stand up one, you could walk in and out. It didn't close behind you. Yeah, it's more expensive though, because but it's better because it gets like your full sides. Because right. when you're laying in the bed, your hands are going near your side, so there's like a little shadow area. Yeah. So you have to be like moving around a lot. Oh, I don't. But move it, but uh, and also you get like butterfly back because like even though your skin is right on it, it as it like sweats and stuff, it like doesn't fully make a perfect print. So sometimes if you're ever in a bed, you have to like mm. put your elbows and like arch your back and make sure just only your butt and feet. You've are really touching. mastered the tanning yeah, how many craft. T- of, well, how my, often do you go tanning? My grandma owned a tanning salon oh. uh, chain like in when I was like younger, I'd work at it. No and I way. understood how to like when customers would come in and I would like talk and I don't know. I just had to learn how to do it. And then when I had psoriasis, I would go tan a lot. So yeah, I haven't gotcha. tanned in like three years, but 
I know, yeah, there's like a, a process. I know the whole fucking- Did tanning help your psoriasis? Absolutely. It toughened it up and made it like completely strong. It's it's even though like the doctor's like, they're like I don't want to tell you to do this, but it does because help. It's huh. like, because it's not good for your skin at all, but it does zap all your pimples that you have. It's great. Tanning increases the aging process to yes. your skin. Well, yeah. I Every mean, time you're doing it, you're, yeah. you're, you're aging, Literally you're aging your yourself. skin. Yeah, that's why we do it. But once. Dan, sometimes people look good in a tan or you feel good about yourself. Yeah. yeah. I did, uh, so this was my first time doing it, and I had a panic attack. I forgot to put the goggles on. <gasps> oh, that's so not I, good. So I got up, and I held the thing, and it was going, and I was like, oh, shit, this is really bright. And I was like, oh, my God, the glasses. I forgot to put them on. Did you buy them, though? Or you went in No, it's free. Them? It's free. They they're, give it to they're you. They're just, like, inside, like, okay. on the seat over there. Okay. And then I, I was like, oh, my God, is this mandatory? Do I need to? So I closed my eyes, and I was just, like, squeezing it the entire time. Why didn't you just- Dude, don't it, even- That's <laughs> not good either. You did that the whole time? Yeah. You should have just- Heath, you should have just walked out, put it on, put it- Go back in. You're, like- you I, didn't, I didn't- Stop it. Or sometimes, well, no, it's remote operated. They set it on. You could explain it, the situation. It, and it's bad you. for your eyes, I'm guessing. Yes. Obviously, yeah, like, that's like looking at the sun and just like closing your eyelids and like looking at that it. That shit was bright. Is it like looking, you know, when the sun goes in front of the moon, it's like a, what is it? An eclipse. An eclipse. Is it like looking at that? No. Like when you look at that. I think the reason why people don't like people looking up at eclipses it is, yeah, because the sun is you're waiting for the moment it's just right and everybody if you're constantly looking up at the sun waiting for the eclipse it's not good got it that's so strange yeah How something that that's far can they, fuck with your eyes i would love to see an eclipse don't they happen like every day it happens in lebanon all the it happens in lebanon really? a lot yeah there um i remember we were kids and there was an eclipse and that's, we all wanted to look up and we were so scared that it was gonna kill us i just said something so stupid it doesn't happen every day like that is the dumbest <laughs> Yeah, and clip, a clip. Well, I always thought it has to happen somewhere pretty often. I thought it was every, like every year. four years or something. Someone on the earth has to be able to see it. How often does, well, the sun rotates. I feel like it happened in Lebanon like twice when I was there, which is pretty crazy. How often does the solar eclipse? Well, there's a solar and a lunar eclipse. The solar eclipse is the cool one though, right? And this is anywhere around the world every 18 months. Yeah, it probably happens like it's, on like a certain section. Ooh. Oh, a lunar Eclipse is 2.5 years. No, a lunar eclipse isn't that cool because it's just orange and reddish and stuff. Like a solar <sighs> eclipse is the one with the big ring around it and it goes dark. <sighs> oh, whatever, I don't care. The moon is fake anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Like, let's pretend we went to the moon. Well, it's, it's a anywhere. solar eclipse. It's a solar eclipse. I don't know, that was like two days. I don't get, I, I see that vine and it's so funny, but I don't get how that joke happened. Like it uh, doesn't- you said, you said polar eclipse. Oh. I, I, re I remember, I don't know when I said, I don't know if I said it that day or I said it somewhere else, but that I definitely did not come up with it. No, you said it and we're all like, that's really funny. Let's well, you, did I say it that day? Oh, you I said so. polar eclipse. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. But why do I feel like that was old? Because, because that was, um, David put David that on his a, vine page. You know, David has a vine. He goes, oh my God, yeah. aliens. You got better. That was like two days ago. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Where did the joke, you can't, you said it just out and about one day. I think so. Yeah. Okay, I don't come up. I don't say some random. Yeah. Shit. I don't, I don't come up with a lot of stuff, but when I do, <laughs> sparkles. <Magic. laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what if one day just a movie idea hits you and you just were like, you I busted wish. it. My, my brain isn't that fucking, yeah. There's a movie, no, but just like a small idea. Yeah. That could be really fun. I, a skit. I do that. A skit, exactly. A skit. Yes, yes, I'm good at that. Kind of. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Noom. Unlike other restrictive diets or workout programs, Noom Weight uses psychology to empower you with the practical knowledge and skills you need to build smarter, more sustainable long-term habits and behaviors. Their psychology approach has been based on scientifically proven principles like cognitive behavioral therapy, which helps people understand their relationship with food and why they eat the way they do. Noom understands that the weight loss journey is difficult and filled with ups and downs. That's why they believe it's about progress, not perfection, because everybody's journey is different. Noom doesn't believe in restricting what you can or can't eat. Instead, Noom gives you the knowledge and wisdom to understand, to make informed choices and not only fit your lifestyle, but help you reach your goals. Exactly, you're the boss. You decide how Noom weight fits into your life, not the other way around, five, 10, 
or 15 minutes a day. How much time you wanna spend on the app is completely up to you. You guys know that we are on a fitness journey right now, so you know, when it comes to the snacks, eating late, it gets really hard. That's right, it's all about what works for you and being able to manage your own expectations, and Noom helps tremendously with that. And you don't have to cut like bad food out completely, you just gotta make sure you balance it out right and know when to eat and when not to eat it. And at the end of the day, remember, everybody's weight loss journey is completely unique, and what works for you might not work for somebody else. So start building better habits for healthier long-term results. Sign up for your trial at noom.com slash unfiltered. That's noom.com slash unfiltered. Again, to start building better habits for healthier long-term results, sign up for your trial at noom.com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Noom. We love you. I always think I'd be a great songwriter. If like they just put me in the room. Have you ever tried? Yeah, I wrote a little song one time. You wrote a jingle? Yeah, Todd was playing on his piano and I was just like thinking of something to say. Well, and Heath, you don't remember the rap battle? The rap battles we'd have in your room at the Denny oh. house, bro. Oh. Matt was Matt was spitting. Yeah, Remember that? Style. I could spit pretty like. It, quick no, delivery. I was I was impressed with your a, freestyle. No, but dude, I have to be fucking throwed oh. where I start making <laughs> connections. I'm oh, a little. You're, too, oh, you're saying throw like you like got to be fucked up, up like oh, drunk? Yeah, like because that was at like the end of the night, and we were like in your bedroom just bumping, and yeah. it was yeah, like we three were, or four in the morning. We were pretty trash. Three or four point. in the morning, get me going, and I can start. But I did write a little song. I said, "Is that your car parked outside? It's the '95 Chevy with the broken light. I remember when we oh, drove that to Santa Fe." That's you it. wrote this? I wrote that. Cute. Yo, give that shit to Laney or something. You think so? Yo, Is Paul that your car parked outside? <laughs> it's a '95 Chevy with a broken light. I remember when we drove it to Santa Fe. If anybody thinks I'm actually doing another song. Tell me, because that those lyrics came. Yeah, to you're me about to get I called the fuck out. I would like for that. to know because I'm like, because sometimes like it's crazy when artists yes. are getting sued by the artists, being like, "You did my ditty." I think it's I think it's crazy. Sometimes you hear both songs and the other person wins a lawsuit, but they don't really sound alike. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. I've seen ones that are like way too close. Like the beat is exactly the same. Yeah, and way too the close. The way the lyrics flow are exactly, the and same. they'll get away with it. They'll it's, get away with like they'll win in a lawsuit, but there's songs I've, I've dude I've seen lawsuits where like the songs sound nothing alike and they win. It's crazy to me that people can still make a new song. Yeah, how has every song not been made already? I know. I, know. I, I think that they always like dude, grab it's like a, a formula. No, but like writing, yeah. I don't understand how how you can possibly come up with something new in today's age. I really don't get you're, it. Like you're saying that's not been done before. Yeah. Uh, dude, it's no. I don't know. It's and, poetry and also music is such a, like now it's a constant continue and rendition of something else and like another thing I, I, it's kind of like movies i guess make being able to make a new movie music I, freaks me out the beats though melodies i feel yeah, like that's you, more you limited only have than a words certain amount that you can use yeah and just mix it up in a bunch of different orders yeah have you heard that every movie there's there's only 38 <laughs> different believe. movie plots Huh. With what b- before, like it, it is this it considered the same story? Um, I think I know what you're talking about. Is this? It's similar to also like Joseph Campbell's uh the theory of like story or yeah. the, the hero's journey, but they, it does come down to like every movie is the same. Plot. And they were saying There's- that you can guess the ending of a movie so easily with those like with that plot, like with like the 38. Yeah, there's basically like 38 different stories, like that you can possibly write. But like there was, a, I remember, I remember that, t- I remember that TikTok and the guy was also saying that it, like he can say the ending for any movie by like not Based having on this. what you've seen? By having this formula, yeah. I'm pretty sure the hero's journey is similar to that where that in all stories um, contain the same elements. There's a whole theory behind it, but you know, it examines the stages of a hero who goes on an adventure, faces a crisis, wins, and then returns victorious. Like that is the- Yeah. The reason why it all happens. Do you want to share something with the class saying? Oh no, I was honestly just, <laughs> I was no, I was literally just thinking the other day how I had this <laughs> fucked up dream. No, it was like super fucked up. I I had a dream. It's it was one of those dreams where you just you like, I, like like the world like you just feel like the world's ending because of the drama that's <gasps> happening in the in the dream. So in this dream, this is what I this is what I remember. So like I'm in my dream. And there's this, 
porno that's about to come out of me and my one of my best friends ex me and one of my best friends ex girlfriends. Oh, right. My. And I'm not gonna say who it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna say you who have it is. To. No, no, I you can't. Have to. I can't. I it's, can, it's one I of our friends. We can figure it out. It's one of our friends, but I like think that's it's a weird. Pretty easy. And okay. so I remember sitting there in a room, and everyone was just like, "We're we're gonna like this is gonna be a release if you don't do this." And I'm watching it, and it's a video of me and you don't this girl full on doing a porno. And obviously like, it's it's crazy because I never did it. I never did yeah. it. Like I, I landed in my you. dream and that was the situation. And the video was right there on the screen. And they're like, your life is over. Cause like, dude, if like, if this came out like in real life, yeah, I would be, be fucked like bad. Well, so you didn't bad. even like how you were performing. What? <laughs> like, what? what were you doing in the, like, <laughs> I don't remember the like, details. Like, it was just the situation that I okay. remember. Yeah, I could have yeah. probably told you the second I woke up, but yeah, it like left my brain. But like, I just remember that was the situation. I just, I, I, like you just imagine that was real and it all just made sense though it felt so real while, while it's yeah it, and that's what made it so scary it felt so real i did it what were they I did what it. were the people asking you to do like if you don't do this we're gonna post it what was i, I would have told you by now if it, i knew was it money I, I, like they were holding it for ransom i don't know i think i think it was more like a, we're gonna post this you're fucked you have two days to really just soak in it <laughs> i think it was like i think it was just one of those moments that's and i so I, funny I just remember waking up. It just felt so uncomfortable. Like when you wake up in disgust from your own dream and it puts you in a bad mood. Yeah. I had oh, a, a nightmare. Re did you have pork before you? Went to yeah. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, we, we don't have pork in uh, our diet right uh, now. I, I had a dream that it was the end of the world. It was like the day or two days leading up and I was like spending it. And I was like, oh, I need to go be with my family. And then like Patricia was with her family and was like, no, come be with us. And then I started realizing that I wouldn't have enough time to either get to either of them. Cause I was like, the world was going to end in four more hours. And I was stuck at our house in Los Angeles <laughs> and everyone was gone. And I was like, fuck, I didn't think my timing through. Like I was mad. I didn't uh -huh. time out my last few days and I was all alone. That was pretty fucking scary. Oh my God, that's really dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happened though. No, it, no, happened. it just like, it like kind of reminded me of like that don't look up movie a little bit for some reason. Yes, it was just that. And I realized yeah. I didn't time out my last hours of my life well. Like I was mad. I was like, why didn't- You should look into that, Matt. That might yeah. have something to do with- yeah. You're toxic. <laughs> this is super childish, but do you guys still get the being naked in public dreams? Um, I oh, yeah. It, I get it all the time. Sometimes. I'm like at a pool and my swimsuit doesn't like fit me well or it's like it's all falling out and I'm just being like indecent with my swimsuit. So you're, you're just trying to pick up the pieces? Like are like the birds <laughs> slapping? I always feel like the naked dreams though, I'm at a pool and it's just like, I have like on a baggy swimsuit and my oh. dick is flopping around. And I'm That's just like, funny. I'm sorry. And I get I get those and then doing really inappropriate things at the wrong time, but being okay with it. Oh, okay. Like like go on. Yeah, go on. Why don't you explain? <laughs> like just a poop I don't know. Like poop it on the like, no. table. like like jagging off in the middle of a Starbucks. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> so is that something that like you Kind not, of want to do. Not necessarily in the middle of a Starbucks, but just being like, You're like, why would I imagine? Like, why is my brain even like putting me in that? It, it's something you would never do. <laughs> you would, right. But it's but just. But for some reason, you just do it. And then, <laughs> and then you like know it's wrong and you still feel uncomfortable. I don't know yeah. what it is. And you didn't know it was a dream? It wasn't like a, it wasn't one of those conscious dreams where I'm in control and I know yeah. that I'm dreaming. Let me just get away with it because it's a dream. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it's more just like, <laughs> I, I literally can't. And when you wake it. up, you're like, thank gosh, that wasn't yeah. real. You're like, whoo, it I, is not a word. I don't know where I read it, but I heard it's really dangerous. It, like the state you're in, it's really dangerous when you find out you're in a dream. How, did he see that anywhere? I feel like I've seen it. Oh, in no, a few it's places. kind of a good moment because you can tap into lucid dreaming with it. Lucid and dreaming is very interesting. Once you're What's aware of the again? dream, it's once you're like, you've reached awareness that this is a dream and then you have the ability to like do whatever it is you want in the lucid dream. I, I don't think like, I have experienced like, it's that. It's vivid. Yeah. You can touch, it's grand you can Theft smell, you can taste. It's, Wait, you, you don't feel like foggy anymore? It's it's It feels more real? when It you're... feels lucid, meaning it's like so vivid yeah. and clear where it's like borderline a memory. But like obviously waking up out of it, the memory gets further and further away from you and hazier. But when you're in it, dude, it's it's wild. The, the coolest thing. So it happens to me kind of closer to the morning. I'll wake up from a dream and be like, damn, that was a really good dream. Let me get back into that. 
I'll go yeah. fall back asleep yeah. and you can fall back into your dream and be like, oh, I, I want to go do this. I want to finish this. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's nothing crazier than finishing a dream. Mm -hmm. Unfinished dude, I business. Fe dude, I feel legendary when, I, when, I, when I'm able to do that shit. Like go back to sleep and you're back in that fucking good ass dream. What's crazy wow. is how characters in your dreams will be having like full on dialogues with each other, but your brain, your brain is, is making coming the dialogue. I think with about that? that all the time. But we can't come up with just like a script. It is like a full on movie movie you're watching of these two people talking. It is so fascinating. And your brain is coming up with just the sentences and how they say it. You can hear their voices. Or, or like even making songs. Like I've choreographed things in my dreams and put like done a, like a beautiful presentation of this dance with multiple I'm people. So, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> what no, dream I is mean, it? involuntary. I have yes. never had a dream. Wait a no, second. No, not I me dreaming never that had a choreographer, dream. but I've... I've seen people do uh, uh, like 10 people in a row dancing and it's this beautiful ballet. My head is creating that all is, those dance moves. That's why in Inception, which I think is such a cool like thing about Inception where they get like um, Elliot Page's character um, to be the architect. Yeah. Because their character um, is, so they have to have somebody in the dream who knows exactly how the thing's gonna look like. Because since we're not architects, spaces in our places right. are loopy, but still involuntarily, our brain is coming up with, like he's painting all those pictures. Absolutely incredible. That's more vivid than anything if we were to try to draw it. Yeah. I, 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 I can't wait for the day with like, cause they get closer and closer with dream scanning and seeing exactly it is what oh, you're dreaming I'm, of. I'm going to, I'm going to our chiropractor to do, uh, uh, what did you just say? Sorry. Dream scanning? Like dream, dream scanning. Or I, no, brain, I'm doing a brain scan. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> what are they scanning for? I'm, I'm honestly trying to figure out my brain a little bit. Like, what the fuck's going on? I think on? you're going to get a peace of mind you, where your you brain go, is doing just fine. <laughs> no. I think you should go to a different doctor than a chiropractor to do your brain scan. I, I, I just wanted to do it for fun. I was just like really interested to see what it says. <laughs> what if it says I'm like a fucking genius? I just need to tap into it. You know what I'm saying? What if they're just Zen like, goes. What, what if they're like, you just need to take this and then tilt your head like that when you're sleeping and then like everything is fucking a-okay. You know what in that movie NZT or Limitless where they take NZT, Bradley Cooper's uh -huh. character yeah. and like he becomes like a full wizard. But like, I, I just feel like all of them, like if one of us started taking that, how fast do you think like- Everybody something? would catch on. Yeah. I, probably a day. A day? Just yeah. being like, so. what the hell is happening? What is he on? What is he like learning right now? But in the movie, they're so fucking charming where they're dazzling like everyone. You know, like no one is ever like, they're just, everyone's just impressed. I can't, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember that movie. Like everything oh, he was I able feel to like do. I have seen it. Like when he go, he writes like his first like, Book uh, uh, the first like hundred pages of. Oh, book. he just like he opened the, the new stock part of his brain. This, yeah, he okay. like, starts seeing this whole stock market and just yeah. it all comes back to him. I need that. I need like a limitless drug. I'm really thinking about that limitless pill. Yeah, I feel like I wouldn't take it. Like I feel like it would ruin my life. Wait, like you? I feel like if you took that a week and just did the stock market, you'd make enough money where you would be totally fine. You wouldn't feel as good as you did that week. But it makes you worse, right? Is it is it a drop or is it a pill? Because it looks it's, it's a pill. It's a clear pill. That's so cool. There has to be something like that that exists. I think they're just trying to figure that out. I think if you did a combination of Adderall and, and a little psilocybin, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you have. I'm some, I'm guessing you've done it before. Uh, no. It just seemed like you just. I don't know. I just feel like those before. two things where if you would have like a good sense of focus and like your consciousness was like at its full peak. Have you? Is that something you're? T sorry. Um, is that something you're taking every day? No. That's how you know everything. Are you, you on Limitless right now? No, I'm not on Limitless. Do you think if I it was It is on pretty crazy how you just like know a lot of things though. That's just how like my, I, I chase my cure. I'm a very curious person. And when it's something that's not assigned to me and I just like, I'm looking it up for myself. I retain things that like, I'm just really interested in. Mm -hmm. but no, but you won't even be interested in what we're talking about. You just know what we're talking about. No, oh. I think you're just on, like, I think, oh no, Limitless. I, listen, yeah. I, I don't know. I listen to a lot of podcasts. He even asked. How long do you think it would take for people to catch on to you being on it? That was his question. Yeah, that he's projecting. <laughs> I'm not on NCT. I think, I'm gonna. I'm going through your fucking <laughs> <laughs> guilty. Hmm? Go on. What are we talking about, dude? I'm high as hell right now. I would. I could smoke more weed though. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Can you not? I think I could. Maybe. I don't know. W will I be worse if I smoke more weed? Fuck it. I think we could it. be a little. Uh, I think we could be a little bit more gigglier. Well, what the fuck were we smoking in that first episode? We were so giggly. It was our, cause it was our first time yeah. being high right. and in that You guys want to get giggly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's, let's get giggly, y'all. Woo! 
we did a little bit more tooth skis. I probably didn't need any, but I did. Because we got to celebrate, baby, it's 420. Uh, that's right. I w <laughs> I w what would you like to share? I, just wanted, I wanted to bring up a video that I saw today. Um, the, this girl, this I, it was like a story time video, and this girl was talking about how she um, she got a text from the FBI saying, um, "Hey, are you so and so?" And she's like, "Yeah." <laughs> He's like, um, "I pretty like pretty much hit her up because they think she's like a threat to like the Nickelodeon Choice Awards, right? The, okay. the ones that, that just passed." <laughs> and she's like, uh, no, like, like, what do you mean? And they send her the tweet. <laughs> they send her the tweet that she posted. <laughs> she posted a tweet, a public tweet, this girl. And this girl does, is, doesn't look like a JoJo Siwa fan. She's not like a, uh -huh. she just looks like this normal girl with like a septum ring. <laughs> it yeah. seemed like she was just fucking around and tweeted. She yeah. tweeted, I'm about, <laughs> I'm about to burn down the Nickelodeon headquarters for not inviting JoJo Siwa to the kids choice <laughs> Oh my God. And so the FBI got contacted about her tweet and, and he was just like, Hey, um, can we hop on a phone call? He calls her and they're having this conversation how about the tweet. And so he, the FBI and, texts you that one. Yeah, I wonder what that looks days? like. That one. I believe that one. I believe because I, I think I've heard that shit with like my stepdad, how like there's when it's not like. Obviously, they understand. <laughs> hey, they under hey, hey, hey uh, FBI here, just want to hop on a call. <laughs> hey, you got time for a chat? Yeah, Did yeah. they call Star 69? Can we chat real quick? Yeah. Like, I'm not surprised. Like, I, I kind of believe that. I'm not surprised about that because. Because uh, because of the tweet, it looked like so meme -y, but they have to they have to just do their yeah, job. Yeah. They all know that this is not a, like a fucking threat, like an actual to, threat. Right? Yeah, but so they saw the tweet, and they're just like, "Oh, okay, we, let's just make sure that." And so they call the girl, and she's like. Hey, yeah, I, no, I, I was just kidding. They, and they, Nickelodeon uh, didn't invite Jojo Siwa a year after she came out as gay, so I just think it's really homophobic, <laughs> so I posted the tweet. That's and so the FBI funny. starts laughing. Uh -huh. He's laughing, and then he's just like, I just got to ask her, do you have any weapons in the house? And she's like, well, I got kitchen knives. And he's like, well, well everybody has kitchen knives. So, and they just start, <laughs> he starts laughing. And then, and then that was it. He thought he saw that there was no threat. This girl was obviously just making a joke. Right. And Would there ever be a situation where it's like, "Hey, I saw your tweet. Is this serious?" Where they'd be like, "Yeah, I'm I think I think they'd got to take everything because they have to at least check on it. Yeah. Because if it did happen, they go, "Why did it, the signs were all there? That person said they were going to do it, and you guys did not. Especially nothing. if there was proof that they, everybody if they, was if they sending. We're going to do it. You wouldn't like be like, "Yeah, I'm going to do it." I don't know anybody. Can I think that it all bases off the call. You know, like a girl that's right. just like. I, I only find, like dude, she's obviously not it's a just fucking a well, bomber. A, a wellness check. Yeah, huh. I think yeah, exactly. Do, do they still let her keep up the tweet? And she, or and she, and she, she, she doesn't live. Obviously, she doesn't live in LA. She lives somewhere else. So I think that's why they just like text her because she is in another state. They checked yeah. like the IP address and everything about the tweet and saw that wow. she was out of town. That's funny. I just thought that was so fucking interesting how like that <clears throat> happened. Well, I have kitchen knives, <laughs> but it is a pretty crazy thing to tweet. Imagine like one of us tweeting that. Like, imagine me tweeting half Arab tweeting. I'm about to burn down the Nickelodeon headquarters. Like they they would come to my house. Absolutely. Yeah, they would, they would see up. father Ahmed Khajazi with a stepmother. Batul Daran. They'll be like, fuck, we got to fucking book him right now. This is a possible threat. This is crazy. And we can't just ignore him because he's verified on Instagram. Right. You know what I mean? We, because this would make us make it even look worse on us if it verified. Let him get away with YouTuber. Would they, even, the they, wouldn't even they wouldn't even knock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they would just be like, one, two, three. Big but, but yeah, just Ram. Taking down the doors. And we're like, oh my I'm God. Just in front like this, they, you have your you have your hairdo that just <laughs> <laughs> the Saints hair isn't the hairdo we did. And then you're just like your mugshot, you're just like <laughs> And that gets around. Oh, dude, you are. <laughs> no, Matt, this is my mom. <laughs> no, imagine, Matt, say, imagine if you did that the day you did your uh, your Game of Thrones. The, the, oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, the, the Ice the King. Ice the King. Ice King. Wait, the Ice King, though? You're just like. <laughs> they're showing up and seeing you in that. Matt, this is my mugshot. <laughs> I love that picture. It looks so real. He, I sent this to the lady that did my uh, hair, April. She cuts my hair, so uh -huh. she dyed it. I sent it to her, and she's like, who is that? She, <gasps> she, didn't, even, she, didn't, even no she didn't even recognize me. She's like, why did you send me this? Who is this? And That's she's not like an older woman. Like She she like looked at it. She 
and fucking saw that it was not me. Did April always have braces or did she just get them? She just got them. Did she tell you why she got them? Yeah, I think just she has to like fix her teeth or something. That's oh, so I was, good. I just, I was too nervous to be like, oh, got braces, huh? I said, oh, no. Oh, you're not like friendly with her like that yet? I am. I am. I think oh, I we just, shit on each other all the, like the entire time she's cutting my hair. It's I, guess I, I just didn't want to ask why she got braces. I just didn't want to like, if she was like hated them and she had to get them. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? I don't know. Like, I didn't want to be like, oh, out. you got braces. And she's like, oh, I know. Like it could be a reason. Like she always brings it up to me about her braces. So maybe she's not, maybe she's waiting a few more sessions. I guess to, I just, the first time I'd saw her in a while. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Sorry. That was a little bit of a side thing. Yeah. That, that did not need, that no, did no, not need no, to happen. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, the braces. Have you, <laughs> have you ever like had it like were high accidentally, like for something you didn't want to be high for? Like I you feel walked like I, into I, a situation the where Brittany episode, <laughs> like you were high and they go, you forgot we had dinner with grandma tonight. Like, <laughs> no, or you, I haven't, like, I haven't no. had to deal with that. Oh no. I, I, I mean, back then we were like, Shit was pretty planned out. Like if you're doing something at a friend's house, you're doing that. Yeah. And now going to grandma's house. Did you used to smoke before Thanksgiving? Was that a thing? Yeah. 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 I noticed I as I got I older, school, like I other did. family members that would show up, they'd disappear and then they'd come back stoned. Oh, that's and yeah. you didn't realize when you were younger. Wait, whose family were you um my <laughs> a lot of people do that. When you start getting in high wait, school, people I, start smoking weed before Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, you get the whole family's around. You're meeting up with the cousins. Yeah, I noticed some I of the cousins wrong, would come back. Ask. Wait. <laughs> Did you just say your parents smoke weed before Thanksgiving dinner? No, no. like our whole family. It would be <laughs> like aunts, uncles, uh, cousins. Yeah. Everybody. Wait, the whole family? No, not the whole family, but... Not, I'm not saying my parents did it. Oh, there's like just fr like other friends that would come stoned. Wait, am I fucking hearing <laughs> this? Am I going crazy? I, I This is what I'm hearing. For, like, this is what's going in my head. How many people show up to your Thanksgiving? What? He does like a different Thanksgiving. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Say that one more time. Sorry. One more time. Sorry. How many family members do you have that show up for Thanksgiving? It all depends. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I think this, con this, this conversation needs to end. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta move on to no, we gotta ride this out. We gotta get through it. We gotta get through it. I don't want. I don't. I don't. Think, I, wanna, I don't want. I don't want to know anymore. I don't want to know anymore. I'm fucking. No, I've just uh, noticed family members, not my mom or dad or my brother, or like my grandparents. I, gu I guess I just I I can't see that in like in your house. I can't see that happening. We would house. go to my uncle's house. All right, that makes more sense. I was like in your, I'm, I'm, I was sitting in your that's house right funny. now and not imagining. Not that. under so, Mama Hussar's house. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Who like no one's gonna walk in high under the yeah. Hussar household. No way. <laughs> so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Damn, Daddy little had a little too much <laughs> to smoke. Woo! Wow. Oh my god. I'm like I, I feel like it's like in the camera I'm my I'm melting. Like <laughs> I know I took I was like how do I even look right now? <laughs> my eye bags pop. <laughs> Just like oh shit. Wow. I'm having a, I'm having a really good time. <laughs> Zane Me trying too. to trying to convince himself <laughs> not to. Have no, a no, problem. I really am. I'm just really like I'm really high but I'm not like having a panic attack in my head. I know I get too high when I start entering different uh <laughs> Zones, <laughs> dimensions, the dimensions. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like you get like sucked into like a tunnel, and yeah. then you forget there's like yeah, there's the a outside whole, world because your you thought become, will just like go. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Us explaining me, <laughs> and you feel like you're dreaming. There's gonna be a lot of first time smokers. I feel like watching this, so that I think this is very helpful for them. First time smokers. Yeah, that's gonna want to get high with us like for the first time watching this. There I has hope, to be at least I, one person I doing hope that. Not. Yeah, they get to it's it's they're relating to our experience. They have the worst first high. We should go to Vegas. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, Rothy's. April is Earth Month, baby, and that means a lot of us are giving a little extra thought to how we treat the planet. Everybody wants to help out, but it's hard to know where to start. Problems like climate change and plastic pollution can feel overwhelming, especially when you don't see a clear way to make an impact. And Rothy's believes that even the biggest challenges can be tackled one step at a time. They make the most comfortable, stylish, and durable shoes and daily essentials all from recycled plastic. Everything Rothy's makes is better for the planet. They've repurposed millions of water bottles into their signature thread, and that goes into all of their products. Plus, their shoes, bags, and other essentials are made with less wasted fabric, and they're designed to be durable and washable for a stylish fit that lasts. And the clothes you wear every day shouldn't just make you look great. They should make you feel great knowing that you're making an impact. 
it honestly feels really good being able to buy, like just buy anything where you know you're helping the planet. It makes you feel good. And you're doing the planet of solid too. And everybody wants to be more sustainable, which is why they use materials like single use water bottles, algae based foam and ocean bound plastics. They're also super long lasting and extremely comfortable. And when you're wearing Rothy's, your footprint feels lighter than ever. So you can get $20 off your first purchase today at rothys.com slash unfiltered. Again, that's R-O-T-H-Y-S dot com slash unfiltered. Thank you, Rothy's. We love you and so does our planet. Went to the horse races. Oh, I was going to ask you about that. Oh, how yeah. was that? Have you guys never that been to Santa that? That was Santa Anita, right? This I, is the what second is time I've gone on a birthday party to Santa Anita. It's a horse track. Everyone, well, the thing is everyone dresses like all fancy. Usually if you're going out with a group of friends, the th if you're going to the you horse like races, Kentucky you pretend Derby look. it's the oh, Kentucky okay. Derby. Yeah. And you think it's really fun. And everyone thinks when you're going to get there, Everybody's everyone's gonna... dressed like that. It's not. People oh. are there at the horse races to make money. And you come in and we treat it like it's, this, like it's, it's a, a ball. Joke. Yeah. Oh, so well, you, you overdress like you weren't supposed to. Every time I've gone and I even was That's prepping the funny. group like before to go, just to let y'all know. It's we should not go like, all out. Well, no, we still do. They did. do like the big, big. We hats still did. Everyone like go to hell. Who cares? We're I feel like I mean, money. I saw uh, like another like a friend go there, and he dressed really nice too, and he's not like part of. The Nobody's group. dressed that nice, dude. Mm. People are there in just like uh, jeans and just like a tucked in, you know. Uh, flannel, and they're just there to bet on horses. That's it's, so it's, interesting. There's it, a fun little carnival. Yeah, it, hap it happens every sick. year. It's right in the middle. I don't even get fucking people who are horse racing. That so when it comes down to it, people who like really see the pattern and stuff. It's just horses going around. There's no pattern. Like there will never be a pattern. The, the for odds that. on that stuff. I'm like, okay, well, what do we think that number three in the? Yeah, um, it's, it's literally all based on luck. And is it's crazy it is it is it all jockey or is it all horse? I don't know. Oh, or is it like, I a, forgot, like a pretty, I there was a fucking pretty good combination of both? Oh, I guess you need to take the jockey into consideration. Yeah, I thought you, it's are you, all about the like they, they, they just have a certain connection with a horse. But the movie is always yeah, the about movie. If, if they're emotionally attached, if they, you they're know, able you, to make them like perform well. What a That's crazy it. ass dog. <laughs> just like, ha! 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 And you're, ah! like, and you're like, and you're five, you know, you're five, three, getting on that thing. Ah! Like, it's what you do. Yeah. You just, you race that shit. <laughs> That's all you know. And what, like, what do these riders get paid? The, 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 if the you guys, win I, big, I think a they good they got to get paid a shit ton. If you catch a lucky stride. Because you, you hear about people winning a horse race and they make like a couple million dollars. So do they get earnings like, from like all the bets? On? Like, how does that work? Because somebody like spawn, it's like being a race car driver or like you pay for the car and you pay for the driver. You got seek it. out okay. the driver, the person yeah. to drive the car. So you can have a fast car and a good driver. That's what the combo you got want. Got it. So I, I just thought it came from like but then, um, bet, m bet money because I didn't think it was that big of a like Yeah, a if, thing. if it's your horse, you win a shit ton of money. Oh, yeah. Do you know how much like race horses cost? A good one? Can I get? Yeah. I'm going to guess. Like, you're like six k, <laughs> what? <laughs> that, like a horse? Wait, wait that's, how much, that's how much. That's how much. We're that talking like, about racing like a horses. Horse. So, oh my god, that's not even a lot for that. Hold on, so, dude. Some go for a million dollars. Saying some seventy million for this racehorse. Damn, they Three. must be feeling good, it huh? Dies. It dies. <laughs> that <laughs> better make you about more than 70 million back. What is the that point? Is, that you, is a pretty crazy investment. You got to imagine they're only good from like when they're full grown at their prime for, for how long? I guess you, you can know, sell it's the even, semen. Like, oh, pe yeah. They, uh, they, dude. Do you know how they get? Do you think those jeans, those, like those jeans will run like a, like an iconic oh, horse? yeah. Purebred to the blood, man. I don't think so. Do you know how they catch semen for it's horses? It's disgusting. I it just is, it saw is it. It is bizarre. Wait, what? Like, hey, for, so <laughs> you know what it is? Yeah, bro, dude, it's it is nuts. like Zane, you got this guy. Oh, we're going to watch this? He, he goes up behind the horse. You want to watch it or do you want me to? I'll Wait, like, I don't even hold on. Say it. What do you? I know. The guy goes up next to it and he basically oh, oh i mean no, that's no you that's pretty that is a method but that's like not the humane maybe method. i was watching a different <laughs> uh, i think you probably watched I Dude, think have you, you ever <laughs> i don't think no look this not. is how they do it look just oh, like that yes. into the but thing. look what he's okay yes but look what he's mounting though too so what they do is they put that horse <laughs> the, he, they put no. zane's hair out the end oh my <laughs> god so what they do is they get a fertile a, a fertile female and they tease him with it and they get him in the room and then they have 
it, but then yeah. they have this like big flashlight almost oh, that then he mounts my God. and then they get it out of him like that. So but they he can't touch Wait, the female. Hold on, go he, back a sec. Did they just give some to the dog? No, well, they didn't. The well, no. It went in the trash. Oh. <laughs> I just, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It, just for a quick second. That looked like bouncy balls. Like it, it moved as soon as it. Yeah, it was something there. That anyway. was funny. That's got to be worth a lot of money. That scene. <laughs> I just don't understand how. Wait, like, it's called ringing a horse. I rung horses for. Is oh, that what I that rung. is? Is that what it's called? Runging horses. Hold on. Once it's collected, horse semen can be sold in small tubes called straws, each containing. Oh wow. 150 million? It's a lot of money for horse semen. How much would you jerk a horse off for? <laughs> I bet you own the like damn. Like to, to make 100 million off the scene? Like what's your salary? They, they're getting paid well. You got to be making insane money. I mean, they're not technically jacking them off. They're just holding this tube like this. You know, it's not like, imagine you, imagine, <laughs> I think, I think imagine you, you had to like you gotta actually. You got to get it so high. It's on your face. Yeah. You're just, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm, if you knew how much money it would be making you, you're like, get that. Come on. <laughs> Come on, make uh, it big. Go on, you're like, you're like, who cares? Just like, this is <laughs> money. You're, you're like, no. so you're so think about it. You're making a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> and just like, come on a little session. Like, give me, give me a little like, would you jerk here. a horse off for a hundred thousand dollars? They're like, yeah. And I'm do it. And I do it for a living. <laughs> and I'll do it. I'll do it again. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Come on. Wow. That means a gallon of this. <laughs> same, same. He goes, is $4.7 million. What? A gallon is worth. Looks like we need to get some horses. <laughs> we are in the wrong business. Is that like for any horse semen or a good horse oh. semen? Like from like, like a Clydesdale. Like a sta or a, uh, what do they call them? Like a, a stallion. Yeah, stallion. They call it like a wild horse. Isn't that yeah. a stallion? They're wow. rolling with fucking dough. Mm -hmm. Horses, I admire their nature, but sometimes they piss me off. <laughs> Cause I'm like, come to me. You guys look so. I just want it. Like it's like always to like, act like, like lay all, down all, with you and shit. Yeah. Shush, 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 shush. It's like keeping them because they're just so skittish. But I'm like, I just want like a hug, just a horse, just to be so chill with you. I, I maybe you'd be good for the jack off job that they do for these horses. Oh, black you, stallion. You've rode a horse before, right? Yeah, a couple times, many times. Like I feel Weirdest like it's really feeling. scary going fast on a horse. Oh, I, like, I feel that like shit? you feel like you, no. you have no like a full gallop, like running. just like no control, or feeling like you have no control. It, yeah, it is so bizarre to think about that you're literally driving it. It it blows my mind every time I get on one. Yeah, the bike. It's, it's like right, like like driving a forklift or something. There's you like get it to go forward, you steer it right left. Stop, go. It, it's, it's insane. Like you're like it's how, crazy. How far how far do you think a horse can go before it like gets like complete like so tired where they just like stop? Oh you like how far I'm thinking about back in the days, that's how they traveled. So I'm in my head, I'm like, how far can they go? Kinda, I don't want to every... picture a poor horse run until he dies. I, I, Maybe no, a deer. No. No, no. How yeah, like, like long before they just stop themselves because they're exhausted? I just I, I like I'm trying to probably gotta go quite a few miles. Yeah. Yeah. A few miles. Heart, horses are still sensitive though. They gotta stop. Horses are dope. They're pretty good. Imagine being a horse. Be wow. How long do you think it takes to break a horse? That's always like the cliche. Of, wait, like, what, those, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean break a horse? Like Disney cut like those kids' movies was like, you can't break that horse, girl. She's like, watch me. <laughs> watch me. I'm gonna learn. And she like sneaks out and, and it's her falling the horse. off like Yeah, like uh, and then there's the there's over. the country boy who comes by, he's like the ranch hand. He's just like You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. He's like, I never thought about it that way. And then they like you got the damn dance. I stuck. See, that's. Yes, I love it. Um, yeah, breaking the horse, getting it to be able to like. Work with you. Like yeah. work with what you need. Yeah. I don't know. Horses Would you, still scare. I mean, people are like, you know, cleaning like a oh, horse's dude. hoof. Yeah. It's, you're like, what is in that? Dude, I like, ah, uh, ooh. It's like a the shit that's in that. It's like nail material. Mm -hmm. It's like the same kind of material. Tears like is in our nails. Yeah, they, that just grows it's really dense. thin. And it's just crazy how deep they go and how hard they go, and the horse just doesn't feel it. Do the horses love the horseshoes? Probably. Probably yeah. feels like a little pedicure. Feels like they're tap dancing. But then, how did horses get? When did? Why would they need it? They weren't born with it. But I guess because of roads and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Better what, maintenance. What is a horseshoe for? Because you're talking about on the bottom, like you're talking about on the bottom of a, yeah. a horse. I think it's so like shit doesn't go into their uh, into their feet because they're like. They're heavy and they run through the. I wonder. Oh, it's it, like traction. It could be maybe if they're doing a lot of like gravel 
or like road walking so it doesn't chew their nail down too quick. That's probably too like maintenance. Protection. I think it's like ma- has to be maintenance. Yeah. Or like, you know, it just it prevents like heavy growth and like a little bit of sturdiness because like then you'd have to be cleaning it and trimming it more and more and more. Yeah. I bet it kind of like it's like a braces. I watched the guy on TikTok eat a horse hoof. Do you like the liver king? I know a lot of fiber. He is so interesting to me. Dude, the liver king? I'm like. What's the liver king? You don't know who the liver king is? No idea. He's, he's gotten super big lately. He's this big internet personality where he's like, what up? What's up? Uh, liver king here. Liver king here. Uh, and he just like, he eats like cavemen would. Like all meat, all liver. This dude's farts must be ha- so rancid. Like, it's, he, yeah, he'll just like eat raw liver, just a bunch of random shit like that. But he's, he's massive. massive. He looks like he's on steroids. Yeah, look, that's him right there. The, the liver king. He, he's oh making, my he's making God. So much money. Doing what? Why? What is he do? Dude, he's making like. He's getting like a lot of brand deals? No, he has a whole product line oh. of, his, of his, um, his liver king products, like his, di- his diet pills. He's making, I'm pretty sure, close up to $1 million a month off his sales. What? I saw a whole- What, pill, what are the pills like, pill for? Probably like supplements, like vitamins to be like, wanna eat like me, I, you could do it in this pill form without having to take a- Oh my I, God. I saw this guy on TikTok who's like, you probably been noticing like how the Liver King, he's on like now all these private jets and stuff. And that got me <laughs> curious about how much money he's making. He went on the Amazon and looked at their sales and then figured out how much he was just right. also net profiting even off of what the actual yeah. fucking pill is because people are paying because it's liver Damn. King. And then calculate, and he goes, and this is just from Amazon. He has a whole website where he's selling all of this. And if this is only a reflection of the sales on Amazon, his website, whole different thing. So he like almost doubled it. Good That's insane. I want to just, I want to see what his wife looks like. <laughs> But you can never find it. <laughs> Thin as a stick. Well, I guess like respect oh, right to there. guys who like keep their wives private. Like yeah. that whole thing, like you never see their wives. Is that, a that good? his wife? Is that his wife or just some girl he took a picture with? I can't find a picture of his wife. I wonder if it's like considered a good thing or a bad Yo, thing. Yo, he, he doesn't look human. He yeah. looks like he's like he came out of a forest, like straight up, like you know, like the um the centaurs or what what the <laughs> fuck are, what are those called? Half like the horse, half, half horse. person. That dude, that looks like the top of a fucking centaur and he's so red looking yeah really well from all the red meat i know it's just pumping oh danny just does a whole video the liver king sent him all the food that he eats so like all this raw liver and bone marrow and he was trying to challenge danny to like do what he does but obviously oh wow it's impossible it tastes so gross the workout's insane. He sleeps on a wooden platform. He doesn't sleep on a cushion. Absolutely not. That is insane. I wonder how much of it is Sleeps true. on a floor. Get over yourself, dude. Like, mean, what is he trying to prove? Like, well, what is I he guess trying to prove? He's just trying to, I think he's just trying to prove the fucking just, image that he is that guy who is doing it. You're not that guy, pal. But like, I don't know. But at the end of the day, if he wants to do it, and if that makes him happy, I think it makes him feel, I, it. I, I feel like he's into that whole like primal thing. <sighs> so feeling like this is, uh, what our ancestors slept like. We don't need modern technology. Like, you know what I mean? Can yeah. you imagine being his kid being like, dad, can we just have lasagna? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Do you think he makes his, makes his kids eat like that? Should we have him on the podcast? Absolutely. Absolutely. I would love that. No, because then he'd, he'd bring over me and be like, you guys, Really need to try I would this. Eat it. I could eat. Well, it. I, I would do. I would, do it. I would do it for the podcast. Yeah, you would eat like a raw piece. Well, I, do, for, I would try it for hundred percent. I don't, well, dude. Like, raw you, you'll eat I like a raw heart. I think I could, if I, dude. If as long as it was like fine, like it's not gonna fucking kill me. I wouldn't like, even I, need a cooked heart because that's. <sighs> is it gross because it's a heart to you? I wouldn't. What's gross about it? Or yeah. here's the thing, like. Raw meat, like I, I just wouldn't eat because I never know if it's like safe or would never do it. But like, it's so similar, like sushi or just like a raw piece of meat. I don't think it's that gross. I think for me, meat, it's fine, right? It's just chicken. You can't fucking eat raw. Like you can eat like meat as raw as possible. I guess, but like it's kind of weird. But like I think I, I could don't eat, know. I could eat some of the stuff. It would be gross. I would hate it. But like, if he's like saying people who eat monkey brain, I don't get it. Is that cooked or not cooked when they eat monkey brain? I don't even think that's ethical to do anymore. No one's eating monkey brain. Yeah, I, I don't see, uh, like, I don't. That's an like, Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. She's like eating a monkey brain. Oh, did I you get it from Indiana Jones? No, it's like a delicacy. In like d- distant, Where? weird 
parts of the world, but there's no way you're getting you going to a restaurant and ordering <laughs> monkey brain. Right. I'm sorry that it would get shut down in an instant. <laughs> yeah. That is a very lucrative thing if you're eating fucking monkey brain. <laughs> Have you seen? Yeah, I'd like the monkey brain, please, <laughs> and the margarita. <laughs> it comes. With <laughs> <laughs> the, this is fucked up. All right, go. Have right. you seen those thousand-year-old eggs? Oh, People like Fabergé eggs from like the Russian. <laughs> they do like hundred-year-old eggs and like wait, five real years. eggs? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about like a Fabergé egg. I, I no, think to, I think that's another to eat. Abs, how, they're a thousand years old. But I no, but it's a delicacy. It's uh, some like some. But I know that, that. Then that's it's fermented. It's like I bet it's. But who is planning that? Like somebody, I'm gonna set these aside, and somebody in a thousand years is gonna have this. Or how, there's got to be the, like a very small supply. There's no way there's just a bunch of thousand year old eggs out there. Wait, that's a really good point. That is a good point. I I just. I think they may use the term hundred year old. Uh, it's just really old. It. They ferment it yeah. for a really long time. Right. Oh, so it's like wine, like if like pickle, like the longest pickled eggs. They're not, they probably, they look like they're from a thousand. I would years. honestly love to try that. I would eat it. Cause it, like, eat it? there's this girl not a whole... that makes like Asian food and it looks so fucking good. And she'll make like thousand year old eggs and like put it in her like Wait, ramen. Is it, the, is it that girl who like, she walks she in. in the door. She and walks she in with it at the, the time. time. Oh! oh my god, dude! I Matt, always. Dude, I'm sitting there, dude, for I, hours. Pat Patricia, I love it because she comes in and she goes. She is so adorable. And she just says like says nothing or barely talks. Barely but talks. It, she was like the Emily Mariko before Emily Mariko, dude. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Or like the the quiet Emma Chamberlain of like that country. Oh. She she just she just had this like way of cooking and coming. She would come home from work every day and it would be a certain time. She walks in and goes like that. And then it just cuts to her making food. But she'll always give you the time and the day and when she gets home from work before she starts. And it's all just set up. Like it's a it's a set up phone right, shot uh -huh. every time. I don't know. It's, I'm so, I cannot I'm believe that so you saw that. No, that that uh, dude. She's been one of my favorites. Like, and there was one time where she was like debating, like not posting. I want to like, I like, I, I want her to I want to, uh, her to invite me over to her house. I think she's like French so have though. She lives in Canada. Oh, oh, she lives in Canada. Yeah. Oh wow. I I can't believe somebody else watched her. Is she like as much as I did? Oh, Okay. Oh, she doesn't live in Canada. She lives in Switzerland. What's her uh, username, Matt? Um, it's Diana Mingyan. Go to like just like one of the ones in the middle. Crispy Mongolian beef. Got home at 17 hours, 30 minutes. Does his little head tilt and then she just starts making food. <laughs> it's just soothing. The way she makes it, it looks so just so yummy. And yeah, really I made her right um Damn. her dumplings like soup one like it was so fun patricia and i we like made them and everything yeah she'll make like very very authentic like to it like that's making me hungry man i know i'm i, I want like it <clears throat> i'm starving i can i can eat a horse <laughs> <laughs> i can fuck up an entire like table um <laughs> What I, I keep thinking about this conversation I had with Jordan earlier about you remember when uh, cars used to put balls cars <laughs> oh the trucks like hey yeah. just a sack of nuts just at the a, back a what balls <laughs> I'm like what phase was that like what it's people, still it's still there I, people, people yeah, still do, do it, it. I, <laughs> and then we got to talking like is that super masculine. Oh. Like you're like you're picking out a ball sack. They just and want like a thing of nuts. Like is it is it like some super truck masculine nuts. or is it? <laughs> no, I think it's ma I think it's masculine. Yeah, it's like a power top it's thing a, yeah. for the gays. I see you. It's like look at the balls on my truck. But it just feels like I would never be like. I'm gonna put ball like it's kind of like that's. I just, wonder what I are just they all that same? Are they the same type of person though? <laughs> like are they like you did the balls? <laughs> I did the ball. Ain't that? No, I don't see them like that. I see them more just like fucking just masculine. Like don't fuck with me. Like I think they think it's like a fucking power move. Is it has that so ever has that ever been seen as a joke? I just think it's so inappropriate to have that on the fucking road oh. like while driving. And how do you say truck nuts? Or like yeah. what? Some of them are like flesh. Some look at crawl. that. Like that's fucking all. Th that looks like real balls on the back of your truck. It shouldn't look real. <laughs> that's like, making my balls hurt. Like, 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 bro, I, got, I got kids. I'm, I got kids in the back. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so fucking crazy to me. <laughs> Just like, like. What the fuck? I get uncomfortable <laughs> if I see any animal. Is that balls. why? So they take pictures of the back of the truck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, no. 
They did not. You know those girls would get fired in a heartbeat. <laughs> and the Hooters girls did that now? Are you fucking kidding me? I oh, did. wow. That's a very popular picture. I did not know that's what they did. <laughs> I didn't like that. Didn't even go in my head that oh, you could just stand in front of it and look like a fucking pair. Dude, of look nuts. at the massive ones on that. Go down, go down. And, and what size? Go down, do you down, buy? down. Oh, right there. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. <laughs> They're dragging. Wait, wait, that's funny. I would. <laughs> I would do that to my drug. Oh, it's just the, it's the like, thing. like that. Those honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe it. The, oh, I, I, like that's go back, too go back. realistic. Go back. Go back. Go back. They had the left hanging lower than the right. <laughs> Go back. Look at that. Oh, absolutely not. That is way too detailed. That's a prank. Is it, it's I just I just cannot believe that was a thing. I, no, dude, it, I want I want to see somebody with that on the truck so bad. I just want I'm going to I'm going to bust They're, out laughing the next time I see no, it. No, I just want to see it out here. I, I want to be on Coanga Boulevard and I just see that driver in front of me. Oh I like, I, I got to see who's driving that. It's crazy someone in a factory somewhere is just making hey, like, is just making like molds of nuts and just like waiting them out just to just saying or just that someone's job is just making truck nuts all day <laughs> like that's what you do yeah you show up and you make truck nuts at least have like something where you can like put stuff in it you know what i mean like make it usable like where you can take that off and like oh i brought like I <laughs> like something that like comes with the balls Whoa. that's like are you can make use of are these worse than the eyelids for headlights the, oh, the, <laughs> the eyelashes people always do those on bugs and yeah. stuff oh yeah the i i i don't mind those you honestly. like it i, I a bit of I a just kind of when I see him, I'm just like, all right, dude. Well, that well, one, well, that, dude, that one, like a little kid would come out into the road and just run, and like they'd think it was just this like <laughs> toy. Some toy. Like it looks so inviting. They're like, oh, it's like it, it looks like cars. It looks like yeah, it cars. Does. It looks like a movie. Kachow. Have you seen the original uh, <laughs> air conditioners that would hook on the side of a window of a truck? Wait, what? Like before AC was inside of the car. It would be this giant, big ass container no that you way. would put on your window and roll your window up, oh, and it would, it would just sit blast. on the edge and would suck in air as you're driving and cool it, and then let it that right there, and that oh. would suck in air and then push it into that crack in your window. Oh wow! It looks kind of like something out of uh, uh, James Bond. Yeah, that doesn't look that bad. It's kind of, no, it's it really looks cool. Kind of sick. Yeah, that's really cool. That's sick. And it's on both sides or just one side? You do both sides. It's pretty neat. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that is. Thank you for sharing. Car me. fact of the day. All right. We need we need a car fact of the day every episode. <laughs> I think that's very mandatory. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, BetterHelp. People don't always realize that physical symptoms like headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive issues can be indicators of stress. And let's not forget about the doom scrolling, sleeping too little, sleeping too much, under eating, and overeating. And stress shows up in all kinds of ways. And in a world that's telling you to do more, sleep less, and grind all the time, here's your reminder to take care of yourself, do less, and maybe try some therapy. Exactly, which is why I love therapy. It feels so good being able to stay in your own house in the comfort of your own room and just talk to somebody that's not your friend or your family members because you kind of want like someone else's opinion in the comfort of your own home. Exactly. You want somebody to be unbiased and it's it's easier to open up, especially when you're not doing it face to face. You can do it online, video chat, phone call. You don't even have to see them if you don't want to. Also, it's much more affordable than in-person therapy. So give it a try and see if online therapy can help lower your stress. And right now, our listeners are going to get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Zane and Heath. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Zane and Heath. Thank you, BetterHelp. We love you and our brain thanks you. Did any of you guys hear a story about the JetBlue flight that um, tried landing four times coming from Cancun to JFK? I heard about uh -uh. this. The Did girl see on that? TikTok who had and the whole story. I like, first this off. This just happened? Yeah, this just happened a few days ago. First off, it's JetBlue. You feel like you never see right. anything bad with JetBlue. It's always like United Spirit. or something. Like, yeah. it's never JetBlue. And this JetBlue flight, they were flying from Cancun to, to JFK, and the weather was so bad in JFK that they were trying to land, and they could not get the plane on the ground. So they before they touched the ground, they went back up. Right? Really? Four times, right? This is while there's bad weather. So everybody... 
he everybody's freaking out. Everybody, people are crying. Oh, people I, are, they yeah. can't make it. They can't. The, you can't land the plane. What like, was what was stopping them from being able a, to a land? Bit of a it storm. was a storm. Like they just could because oh, it'd get like windy when they yeah were because close. it's because if like oh. they land the plane and it's not supposed to like so yeah. then they have to reroute Circle. and go to Philadelphia. Yeah, oh, they have to reroute. Whoa. They have to go all the way to Philadelphia, and this is after like. Like, dude, imagine imagine how long it would take to right. try to fly a plane four times. People were freaking out and crying, right? So they get to Philly and they land, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, thank God!" And then the the flight attendant makes an announcement: "Hey guys, we're gonna go back to JFK and attempt to land again." And everybody was like, "No, no, no!" no. no like they wanted to get off the plane, or people right. also felt that the plane was unsafe. Well, that's because that's because the, the flight attendant said they had to fly back to JFK. Right, right. And so, but people, they wouldn't let people, people like, like but people just hated the situation because when they felt like something was wrong with the plane, right. that's why it wasn't able to land, or they didn't like the pilot because he wasn't able to land it. I would be so wary. People were just like, something isn't right with this plane. I'd want, I'd want to get, get the off. fuck off that plane, like knowing right. me. Like, and they wouldn't let them. They right? wouldn't let them. They're like, they're, um, sir, like one guy just made his whole like. Like, you know, he made a whole speech. It was just like, there are people thinking they're about to die. We need to get off this plane. And the lady goes, sir, it's not just you on this plane. And everybody goes, no, it's all of us. We want to get out. Like oh, everybody, yeah, cha yeah. everybody chants saying that like, Damn. we need to get off this flight. And I would I would have busted the he, door down. They still kept them on the plane Shut and flew up. back. <gasps> and they landed. I and would, they landed. Dude, I would have had. A, oh, my God. Dude, I could not believe JetBlue did that to their, and uh, so I was reading the comments and a lot of comments were saying that the reason why they didn't do that is because it costs so much money to let people out yes. of uh, like a wrong airport or like, it, I think it was just Fuck the situation. So can they sue everyone on that For flight? like emotional distress, he, I would imagine. Matt, I, I would never sue for anything. I would never complain about like shit like that, but that, the trauma but that that the, shit would put yeah. me if in. If the rest of the flight is suing, oh, I'm, I'm yeah. I, I'll, I'll Bro, sign I me up. Sue. Oh, for that? Oh, yeah. Shit. I just can't believe JetBlue did that. I cannot believe that they did not let people off that plane. That's crazy, bro. I dude, would have imagine, had a fucking like stroke, dude. That's I would have fought somebody. There has yeah. to, I'm crazy. There's no claw. It's crazy that there's no claws after three failed attempts of, right. of landing. Yeah. That they, they they how is that not in the ethics book? But so crazy. Burn. Like, imagine worst case scenario if they did go back to try it, didn't let the people off, and something went wrong, and they weren't able to land, and they ended up crashing. I'm worried. Like, I would that, freeze during a moment that. like that too, just being like, I can't believe this is happening. No, I would. Way. I would attempt to call everybody I love. I'd be like, Look, Jordan, get me the gun. There's a dude. I've been gun. doing that what? the whole time. The gun. There's a fucking <laughs> mosquito, <laughs> and it <laughs> won't go away. Bro, that Hold shit on. has been I got in front of my I face got a the visual. whole episode. You have a little salt I'm gun. To, I'm you about to blow this. You have bitch. a salt gun. No, no, Heath, you're gonna fu you're gonna fuck you're gonna fuck up the TV or something or one nope, of the cameras. I got him, Heath. Let me know if you have a visual. Target acquired. I feel like he's attracted also yeah. to like our breath when oh, we're all. Oh wait, that just shoots air. No, it shoots salt, salt. A little bit of salt. Oh, salt, salt. I, I see him. He's above Devin. Just keep it casual when you see it. Just pop it. Yeah, yeah. Keep it casual for the. And if I say duck, you got to go down quick. Do you guys want to see the flight path? Oh my gosh. Fuck oh that. my God. How long were they um, being that. diverted for? <laughs> Do they interview any of the passengers? These guys <laughs> went on a flight that took a turn for the worse. Like, are you, what do they say? That didn't go as expected. This is the video that I saw. <laughs> it cuts to Zane. Zane's like, y'all. Yo. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die, motherfucker. <laughs> They sit there with like a cup of tea and he goes, mm, let me tell you what happened on this flight. It cuts to Zane with the fucking air. <laughs> Did you hear that? Sorry, I'm I'm He you got it, dude. No, you I know, it. but he's pissing me off. Right, let, let it go. Let it Just let, it, let go. it go. Let it go. No, but it's all I can think about now. I got it! Oh, I got it! I got it. Oh great. I'm surprised I didn't see more people like, like shove it, like going all the way to the front. Like they're like, we're not, we're not staying in our seats. We're fucking like, I'm surprised that they didn't like do anything to keep that plane on the ground. Cause I would have, I straight up would have, I'd, be, I would, I'd have been freaking out. Same here. <clears throat> hold on. Hold on. We just got some crazy news. We got to have you on to talk about that. So Heath's friend Jordan has 
eating monkey brains. We've been talking about this for fucking. How did you? How are you able to keep that in? It's not a monkey. Br- I didn't eat monkey brain. Here, here, put the mic closer to your face. Oh Jordan. Oh my god. <laughs> so this whole time we were talking about eating brain, and you've had it before. I had pig brain when I went to Spain. It, it was on pig a menu. Brain. It was out of a baby pig. I ate Shut. A baby- uh, it was like a 150 year old restaurant. This was a whole ceremony. Um, it was a super expensive dinner. Oh my god! The waitress came out and presented this. The pig was like you could cradle it. Could it was fit. that little, it was tiny, they you the pig baby, baby. Here, here, here. Hop on that too. Wait, they showed you the pig before? No, no, just just cooked. Only cooked. Oh. We only saw him cook. <laughs> oh, we we didn't get to see him. Happy. So you ate a baby pig's brains? I ate a ba- All right, hold on. That, so that's fucking they, crazy. They showed us the skull and said, oh, yeah, you, you can eat everything. What restaurant Whipped open. This? The, this was in Spain. And so the brain had no seasoning. It looked like a brain. It looked just oh, like a, an that's, that's what it looked like? Just like that. The, oh, the, 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 that, one, that one. Jordan. Okay. Oh. I, I took a spoon. Ooh, that looks kind of yummy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You're just that high. looks kind of sick. I'll fucking eat that shit. That looks like a, a fucking so, nice candy, like a nice fruity candy. So I took a spoon and I I carved into it. It like it rips like jello. It felt like oh just like jello. Oh my God. Flan. I put it in my mouth and immediately my body felt like you cannot eat this. You're not supposed to eat this. Like spit it out. Like it felt, I've never tasted something so raw. It was Hor- I, it, like you're, it was just wrong. I but like, threw up in my hand. I threw up in my hand and threw it under the table. No, I was. I, <laughs> no one could know. You probably had no some wild know. dreams that night, huh? I I could the not think after that. I threw up the rest of my dinner under the table after that. Enough. I could not eat after That's that. Cr- Did anybody else try it? No, I was the only one. I was the only one who ate. Well, it. You're the only one that ordered no, it. No, no one wanted it. It's the whole thing was like this was a it was like a religious ceremonial thing. Like they came out, said this really long prayer, broke a plate, smashed it. I still have pieces of the plate that I kept in my wow. You, so you memory re- of your worst you really, meal ever. You really think about this pig brain a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I I wanted to we um when I ate the brain. I, <laughs> I, I didn't want to not eat the brain, if that makes sense. Like, you really just I, want, you really wanted to try. You wanted, you wanted to, to knock I it off. Like, yeah. I am going to do this ancient right. Spanish I mean, yeah. tradition. Let me do it. Let me try it. I ate every single other piece of that pig. It's toes. It's, it's, <laughs> Jesus. Tea, it's oh. like little things. Like they didn't take his legs out. were eating. I, his arms I were eating. The eyeball had the eyeball, but the Bro, only thing that man, hurt the- me the most was the brain and it felt like wait you ate the eyeballs i think that's pretty fucked up jordan it had like a like a hot pocket texture stop but- <laughs> uh, oh y'all my God. Fuck, i'm too hot it, for this shit it's, it's it was gross i can imagine i feel like you would thank hear you. like squealing in your brain like thank you thoughts. and not thank you for sharing that oh my god i'm um, sorry for all the vegans listening. that was probably yeah. very traumatizing for you to hear <sighs> Um, this video is sponsored by Hello Porkboard. <laughs> this <laughs> sponsored by the pork bro- pork board where they want you to eat more piglet brain. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what a delicacy. And you think Jordan, was this like a long time ago? Yeah, this was after I graduated high school. After high so school. So they're still doing this it. This still my, my, my graduation present. Jesus. Heinous <laughs> crime. Heinous. It's not studying abroad, it's studying. A boar. It was close. Oh, it was cute. I, my no. bro, my high brain saw it. And I was what like, that it, joke was was a boar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt, did you did you see the video of Lord shushing people at her concert when she was trying Dude, to? Dude, I've been tagged in that so. <laughs> Lord, Lord people? is performing at this like in this in this venue and. Everyone's like singing along, and then when it gets to the part where she was singing by herself, she goes, shh, 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 and this is so, <laughs> I, it was it, it, unbelievable. She kind of does just a shh. Like, just, but you, just you watching know, it. I don't know. And every, you hear people like, like, <laughs> I would fucking bust out laughing. Wait, that was. Wait,
Now, was there is there a reason why the band wasn't playing? Was it like truly a cappella? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was just like the music was out, and she looked like private show. Why did that look like a like a middle school play? It was an intimate show. Like this is no way. This is oh, this is back 2017. Yes, I've seen this clip a long time ago. Just TikTok is like oh man, I thought it was like more recent. Can can, can you play the shush again? No, this happened. This happened when she was just. She may have been like (laughs) oh, and why am I laughing? I love her. But like the rest of the performance is beautiful once people realize like let's not sing along to this. Like she's doing it a cappella. Just let the art speak for itself. But that she did it pretty awkwardly. She could have just gone or maybe she, or maybe I think this is better like this. Or just yeah, like just that, like the, yeah. yeah. Or just being like Yeah, but she like just went like Shh. She was trying to and, she was trying to have her moment. Ah, uh, no. No, it's pretty <laughs> It's pretty <laughs> cringy. But I forget. Uh, it's so many people have done cringy things. I don't know. I don't know how I can let this one go, honestly. <laughs> I'm pretty disappointed in her. I think she should address it. There's nothing worse than like idolizing somebody and then seeing, seeing that. that they're like a bad person. Dude, Justin Bieber pissed in a bucket, like a, a janitor bucket one time. Oh, come on. We've all done shit like that. He oh, pissed correct. on a- uh, No, exactly. So I'm like, I don't get how shushing- Dude, I pissed in a public trash can. I don't see how it's like, it's disappointing, but like, you're like, you're like, oh. No, I mean like so, like being mean or having like an interaction, like finally getting to meet one, like one of your idols and yeah. they're mean to you, that is crushing. Yeah. I, I feel like I don't want to meet people that I, I like look up to. Yeah, almost. I don't either. I, don't, I, I, want, I, I like that want, mystery. I like yeah, that mystery. Like a possibility that it could go wrong <laughs> or is bad. I would just avoid it. Even if I see them in person, I don't want to yeah. go up to them and ruin whatever yep. I have imagined in my head. I want to keep it there for my brain. I think yeah. it'll, it's exactly. fun and it'll stay fun. Like you wouldn't want to go up to Aston Kutcher when we were at the- uh, No way. No. I would. N- I will never he's go a, up. He's, a, he's too, I don't know. He's just too busy and I, re- I respect him too much. To go go up, even if I you go, were saying hi to, to everybody, I would never. But like hi to everybody, meaning like oh, like you're talking about just like a true like fan kind of moment. People yeah. want to come up and touch him. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Did you see uh, <laughs> Toby Maguire at the Billy concert? Yes, dude. So, how cool did he, was that? Did you see how many celebrities were there, like taking their kids to the Billie Eilish concert? Uh-uh. So many. There was Viola Davis. There was oh, um, there was him. Oh. I saw like three other celebrity like celebrities there because they were bringing their little kid to watch her. That's cr- I never like that would be so cool to be a performer and look out and see that. I couldn't imagine being on stage singing and I look I would, over and uh, S- Spider Man is standing there singing my song like in the crowd. Yeah, that's so incredible. I feel like I wonder if people notice the, those people there. Do you think they ever tell them on like they won't tell them anything like artists anything like that after until after they perform, right? Because I feel like if you tell Bi- like yeah. Billy that like <laughs> hey, certain people way. are there, no, I bet you kind of know because some people probably came earlier to like say hi like do the oh, private that's true. meet that's and true. greets and stuff they know people like yeah they're like oh yeah come on in we're just getting ready for the show I said, oh, like if so. viola davis has her kid there i'm sure they're gonna be like viola come right here yes. yeah oh yeah he was so cool he was up in like the 200 section <laughs> like <laughs> just a normal person like the rest of us unbelievable just seeing him like just standing up there it's so cool yeah he was sitting there like this <laughs> that's like just completely normal fucking dad. <laughs> he was there with his kid, right? I don't think so. He doesn't have a daughter. Oh, does he have kids? I don't. I thought he did. It looked like he was standing alone. He was there by himself watching Billie Eilish. I can't. No, he was that. with like his girlfriend or something. Why do I? Like, someone was sitting. Yeah, he might have been with a girl. Who is he married to? Just click or. Oh, he is married. Oh, he's married. He, okay. he's two go, kids. Go to the clip real quick. I just want to see. Uh, Ruby Sweetheart McGuire. What a cute little name. He named his daughter Ruby Sweetheart. It yeah. sounds cute, but to have a middle If you're name Toby is- McGuire, though, it's kind of cool. <laughs> he's just standing there. Look. Dude, that's It's insane. almost like he thinks the crowd is there for him, though. I would feel uncomfortable, though, because I feel like I would take the attention away from Billie Eilish. Then again, like, you're going there. He wants to get recognized. Like wear a mask if you were a celeb and you, like you didn't want to get like yeah recognized. but like no one's wearing a mask though I know but like but if you were, but nowadays people still like occasionally do that that's how wanted, right? that's how it always was even before the pandemic I mean what what is he gonna wear like I feel like he's gonna look a little silly with the glasses and a fucking mask well he like, it, he definitely that, wants to be seen though you know what I mean look he he knows what he's doing but the thing is that we, nobody ever sees him out so I don't think he went there intentionally thinking in his head like oh I'm gonna <laughs> I want to be seen I think he's pretty he has a pretty private I don't thought Toby Maguire he exactly was a very private person and it's interesting seeing him like out like that I think he I think his daughters just really wanted to go and I. 
think Wait, that's he, where. Oh, oh, was I was oh he was with his daughters. Yeah. I get it. Okay, sorry. He's not by I, himself. I keep, sorry, I'm thinking that he was there. Um, no, he Toby would, Maguire in that like gambling ring. Yes, he was uh, a player X in Molly's game. The, so the movie is based on Molly Bloom, who ran a private poker ring in Los Angeles in about like I gotta the late, watch that. The late 2000s. You haven't, you haven't seen, seen Molly's it. game? What? Can we watch can we, that? We got to watch it together. Really? It's Dude, one of my favorite movies. We, can we watch that? Like yeah. right after just like kick it, order really? some food? Yeah. Oh, Heath, I'm so excited Heath, for you. It's such it's a good, good Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so good. It's written by Aaron Sorkin, like the lines and the characters and the gambling, man. You and, are going to eat. And it's all based on a true story. Yes. You know who that, you know who that is, right? Who so, made, uh, who made, like what movies he's made? Aaron Sorkin, no. he did like the social network, oh, okay. uh, West Wing, the newsroom. Um, uh, yeah, we can watch it. Hell yeah. That'll be fun. Can't wait to watch that movie. It is. I haven't seen that movie in like four years. I'm ex so excited that Heath hasn't seen I it. I know. Like, Cause you know, I got a gambling addiction. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. But basically it's a true story. Girl ran a private poker ring um, in LA. Cool. And uh, she was and running. It's, it's shit. known who plays whose character in this movie. Like as people the real figured person. it. I think, or didn't she come out with a book? Oh, well, she came out with a book. That's that what says everybody's name. Well, but it. no, but for him, she didn't say his name. She said player X and like mentioned. I think maybe something about like he had just been in a big like uh, Spider-Man Spider -Man <laughs> movie. Like something oh. along those lines. <laughs> oh my god! I what? Don't, I don't want to name every names, but. <laughs> He is Spider-Man. I thought I thought you could still like get sued for that if you promise that you don't put someone's name and they say well, something you can like hint, that. You can hint at things where pe I, people basically put one and two together on that's exactly- That's way too big of a hint. I think that's still like- I don't know right. if I'm right if that's how it was written, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure when you read it, you can piece it together that it's- Got him. it, okay. <laughs> I don't want to name any names, but if you've seen Rocky, you might know. It makes the movie really fun to watch knowing who all the characters actually are. It's so easy to give it away. Dude, my head hurt now because not they're burnt first. And <laughs> I, I, when I went to go tanning, I I had to put this hairnet on because I just bleached my hair would have fried it. So I put it on and I forgot I forgot wherever you put your hairnet is. <laughs> and I had it like down here. So I came out like, hey baby, how do I look? Fucking tan line right there. Oh like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I looked so stupid. stupid. I, I and the girl is like, you could just get some self tanner and put. And I was like, imagine what it's gonna look like if I put self tanner. Oh, I haven't even noticed look, that. Joel, I think the, I think the lighting's hitting my face dead right now. You can't tell. <laughs> just putting it's... that cap on, going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, we vlogged that whole process. It was really fucking funny. Yeah. Well, uh, it's gonna be in the vlog that's already out. Posted a fucking four days ago. I watched it. We did oh, it. This was we did fun. it. Wow. I hope it was it was as good as our last one, because it has to only be better. You know. I think it was. I think it was pretty good. So wow, guys, thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Zany Heath Unfiltered, the High Ooh. Edition. Make sure to check out Cremota Coffee at Cremota.com. I don't. There's my camera. <laughs> Where were you looking? Over I, there? I went to look at my um, at Cremota Coffee. Sorry, uh, at Komodo.com. <laughs> <laughs> we have every flavor. We got merch. Um, we we released that Porsche and Komodo collab merch. And yes. you guys sold out in three minutes. That's it was unbelievable. Three minutes. We couldn't Same. believe it. I was I was I wasn't even done posting what like what I wanted to post for the and, and we, for the Komodo and, and we found out it was already gone. We it was like, already oh gone. Oh my god. But wow. damn, guys, that's so fucking sick. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so guys. much. And thank you for supporting Heath's like whole fucking setup that he did. <laughs> His whole love for cars. Yeah, it um, was, that's that's really sick. Yeah, it's cool to see that you guys liked it that much, which is uh, a good feeling. So yeah. maybe we'll do more like that in the future. We post every Monday audio version on Spotify and Google and Apple Podcasts. And then we post the video version on our YouTube, uh, on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Zane and Heath every Tuesdays. Um, all right, we love you guys. <laughs> love did you guys. I, did I did I kill that outro? Yeah, you. Because I bla I blacked Murdered out. It. I completely blacked out. I, I can't out. even form a sentence right okay, now. Okay, but um, yeah. Again, um, see you. See you. See you. See, see. All right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>